Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel, and I have a question for you, and I'd love for you to provide your answer in the comment section below. I simply want to know, if we're in a bear market right now, then why the hell are so many gigantic entities purchasing a ton of crypto from typical retail speculators who are fearful and capitulating? Why are we seeing that? Why aren't they bowing out of everything so scare scare right now? I think it's a legitimate question, but the answer is ultimately, these entities, they're accumulating. And they're accumulating everything, including XRP. And, and there's one analyst that said, and I'll show you specifically what he was, he was talking about with full context, but one analyst said, and this is covered in an article from the Daily Huddle, bears are about to be wiped clean. And I hope that's true, because you never know anything for sure, but damn, I would not mind seeing that one little baby boo bit. Uh, but look, I do want to be clear at the outset, I do not have a financial background of any kind, I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto topics, but just as a hobby, and just for fun. Now, right now, what's on your screen? It's the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap. Now, let's throw out coins number four and five because these are just stable coins and I just don't give a damn about them. But look at the other eight coins in the top 10. Where I'm circling right now, the, the, this is the, the weekly chart, and I know it's a small chart, especially if you're looking on your phone or something like that. It might be kind of hard to see. It depends on what you're streaming on. But uh, do you notice anything about um, all of those charts for all eight of those coins in the top 10? You notice anything funny? They're the same damn chart. Almost exactly. Very, they, they barely deviate. These are the same damn charts. Uh, <laughs> that's what I keep saying. Like, when, when, when people are, are, are freaking out about whether or not XRP is ultimately going to pop, my friends, there's evidence on your freaking screen right now. XRP absolutely is moving in tandem with the rest of the market. The whole market moves together. This is clear evidence right now. Your your eyes are not deceiving you. And so, yes, I will agree that the price of XRP is artificially suppressed because the SEC went after Ripple, and we've not yet recovered from that. But what the hell do you think is going to happen when this thing takes off? Because the euphoric blow-off top is the next thing coming, is it not? I mean, unless Bitcoin really does go on some crazy tear, and then maybe we have to wait a little bit longer, in which case, I'll happily wait. If that means Bitcoin, if it means Bitcoin's going up way higher, because that means that much more money's going to flow into the space, and I, I personally believe if that happens, it just means that much more money's going to be flowing into my XRP at some point as money cycles through the space, meaning a higher... Uh, uh, cycle high for XRP. So if we're expecting 10 to $13 now, if Bitcoin goes to 150 grand, don't be surprised if you see XRP over 20 bucks. I'm not predicting that. I don't make price predictions. I do not know, just to be super duper clear. I'm just saying such a price movement would not surprise me. But most of the time, markets just trade sideways or down. That's it. Don't forget, and I mentioned this just the other day, but it's worth repeating here. XRP, when it went from 20 something cents to almost $4 four years ago, during the last market cycle, it went from 20 cents to almost $4 in about 17 days, about two and a half weeks. Think about that. And it took four years for that to happen. You had to wait four freaking years to see that move. And it lasted for about two and a half weeks. So you waited over a thousand days for that. So just because something hasn't happened yet, I just you're mistaken if you think it can't happen just because it hasn't yet. That but human minds work like that. I know they do. But that is faulty logic. And it makes people capitulate when it don't make no damn logical sense to do that. So do whatever you want. You can buy, you can sell, you can hold. I don't care. Do whatever you want. I'm just telling you that this is how people operate. And I just think it's silly. Now, as I record this, XRP is at 80 cents. Bitcoin's at 43,690 bucks. So uh, market's green today. Don't mind seeing it. Everything's to the upside. Uh, market cap for the asset class, 2.13 trillion, and Bitcoin dominance is actually going down a little bit at 38.82%. And so you can see um, XRP, 24-hour high, just a hair shy of 81 cents. Bitcoin, 24-hour high of $44,137.10, which again is in line with what the vast majority of analysts that I follow were saying to expect. Uh, before this happened, before it started a couple days or so ago. Now, here is the Crypto Fear and Greed Index at 21 out of 100, indicating that market participants, because they're silly and don't know what the hell they're doing, they are experiencing extreme fear, probably having trouble sleeping at night. I cannot imagine being such a creature. Take a look at this. So here's the headline from the Daily Hoddle. Bears will be wiped clean 
when Ethereum and other altcoins bounce, says top crypto analyst. And so um, they're talking about credible crypto here. And um, part of what they talk about, and it's on your screen, I don't really feel like reading it, but he's talking about his expectations for Ethereum and it hitting ultimately about 3,500 bucks because at the time we're recording this, one, it's at 3,342, okay. So that, that's what he's anticipating here. But the part I really wanted to highlight was down at the bottom of the article here. Uh, Credible Crypto is also looking at the extremely elevated open interest in Bitcoin, which tracks the total number of long and short positions held by market participants. The crypto analyst predicts that the next flush of excess leverage in the market will resolve to the upside and ignite a strong Bitcoin rally. And here's a quote, and I do love this quote. What if the major open interest wipeout everyone is looking for ends up happening because of a squeeze to the upside rather than a further move further down? It happened in August 2021 as we moved off the $30,000 bottom. Think we probably see that play out again. Bears are about to be wiped clean. And so the credible crypto, and I'm a fan, um, he, he's a top shelf analyst as far as I'm concerned. Um, he is one of the individuals that does, uh, he is predicting that Bitcoin, this market cycle, will end up over $100,000, uh, less than $300,000, and he thinks perhaps most probable, maybe closer to $150,000, something like that. No way to know. No way to know. But again, the vast majority of analysts, and I'm not talking about the fly-by-night ones, I'm talking about the ones that I follow, uh, all of them with one exception, do believe that uh, Bitcoin hasn't seen its final all-time high for this market cycle. So we'll see who's right. I don't know. But uh, either way, regardless of who's right, XRP's still going to freaking pop. I, I feel highly confident. I don't think this will be the first time in history where we don't see an alt season with uh, complete euphoria to end the cycle. I, I, I don't think that we're going to be lacking that for the first time ever. Don't know that for sure. But I would be very surprised, wouldn't you? Now take a look at this from the Daily Hoddle. Largest Ethereum whales now hold over $80 billion worth of Ethereum as we can capitulate. So says analytics firm Santiment. And again, this is why I started out the video asking this question. Why is it? If we're in a bear market, why the hell is it that all of these whales are boldly purchasing Ethereum from all these fearful individuals? Why are they behaving like that? Is it not a little peculiar? Hmm? Crypto analytics firm Santiment says a diverging pattern indicates whales are accumulating massive amounts of Ethereum while exchanges see their supply of the leading smart contract platform shrink. The Market Insights Agency tells its 122,600 Twitter followers that the ratio of Ethereum held by whales off of crypto exchanges compared to on exchanges is rising to an all-time high level, or rising to all-time high levels. And, and by the way, check this out. So here's the, the exact quote from Santiment. And this is quite the disparity. This is insane. Check this out. Th and this is from Santiment. The amount of Ethereum held by the top 10 non-exchange whale addresses has now ballooned to 25.7 million ETH held. Meanwhile, the top 10 exchange whale addresses continue falling with only 3.57 million ETH. This ratio is the highest since the asset's inception. <laughs> Going back to the beginning of time, over seven years, think about this. So non-exchange wallets, whale wallets, again, holding 25.7 million ETH, Top the top 10 exchange wallets, cryptocurrency exchange wallets, holding only 3.57 million. Why is this happening, folks? What do you think? It makes, it's, it's a worthy question. This, I, I'm just, what I'm saying is, this is not what I, I would expect to see uh, during a hardcore bear market, right? Is this what people were doing as everything was falling apart in early 2018 after the, the, the Bitcoin bubble popped? No. <laughs> so what, we'll see. We'll see, though. And also, I do I acknowledge, though, these market cycles are like, clearly extending, right? So maybe there's a delayed effect and we'll start to see different behavior in a little bit. I'm going to be watching it. I'm just I'm just posing the question here. Now, plan B, arguably the most popular analyst in crypto on the entire planet now with 1.7 million followers. He's most famous for having applied the stock to flow model to Bitcoin. And he simply wrote this and he shared a chart. He wrote the bounce will be epic. OK, you know what? Brevity is the soul of wit. I'll take that. You know who said that? You know who said that? 
It's Billy Shakespeare. Good old Bill Shakespeare. Brevity is the soul of wit. Take a look at this from chart analyst Michael Vandepop. He's basically echoing the same idea here. Bitcoin is ready for the biggest bull run in history. And then he shared this chart, uh, which is showing Bitcoin entity adjusted dormancy flow, which I literally talked about yesterday. So I'm not going to describe that again, but this is the chart that he shared. Uh, and then he also put out this. Here's a separate tweet from Michael Vandepop. Slowly flipping levels for Bitcoin. The level to hold for me is the range around $42,800. If that sustains, I'm expecting a test of $46,000 to happen. Just like I said a few days ago, I'd rather long than short. It, it's okay. This is what I continue to see from analysts that I follow. This, this is it. And I've just, I've noticed over the years that, and it's not, it's not always the case, but the strong majority of the time when I see a ton of them all echoing roughly the same idea, that is what comes to pass. Not 100% of the time, but in general, I've just noticed that's the case with the blend of analysts that I personally am following. It's just an anecdotal thing I'm sharing with you. It is what it is. But the, again, the, the best is yet to come. Bears are going to have a rough go. And the whales are just sitting there accumulating, including XRP. I didn't pull, maybe I'll have to do it in a, in a video coming up soon, probably, but uh, I didn't pull it up for the purpose of this video. But um, like the amount of XRP being accumulated, like it's intense. And the number of new addresses being created, especially now that the airdrop mania has pretty much subsided at this point, at least, like it's still increasing dramatically. And there are over 4 million freaking XRP accounts total in existence. And a, ch you know, a small chunk of them would be because of the airdrop situations, but uh, that's only been happening mostly over the last several months or so. Uh, so it can only accumulate for, or account for like a, a small percentage of the overall number of accounts of, of now over 4 million. So it's fine. I'll acknowledge it's something, but it's not much. It's really not much. It really, the truth is that XRP just continues to be adopted by more and more and more people. It's, eventually this thing's going to pop and it's going to run. That's what I strongly think is going to happen at some point. And I don't know when it's going to happen, but I will make damn well sure that I have my freaking exposure to XRP that, uh, so that when it does go, I'm good. I'm not going to worry about it, get an in and out of positions. I'm going to outpatient anyone else. And that's just how I roll. That is it. I have made my bet. And my bet was, and I, I was saying this to myself, even in early 2018, after the XRP bubble popped near $4, uh, my bet was that at some unknown point in the future, even if years from then, XRP would hit a new all-time high in enterprise discovery. That, that's been my bet for several years. Hasn't changed. Nothing has changed. And the crypto asset class continues to trend the upside. I just showed you the top 10 cryptos. More proof. They're all moving in tandem. What the hell is there to worry about? I sleep so freaking easy. And it's just, it's life-changing, folks. It truly is. I'm getting paid to do nothing. That is awesome. I will freaking take that. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.